hi I am out driving so I've just been and picked up my uh, national ID card and as, as you know I see symbolism everywhere and on my national ID card I see some great symbolism but how can that be maybe you're thinking because the ID card has to do with um, slavery, own ownership and basically we are not supposed to have an ID card at all. We're supposed to be men and women. Um, anyhow great symbolism on the ID card and how can that be well first of all my my all new ID card has this broken appearance on it it looks like it's degrading it looks like it's te 10 years old when I bought it and parts of it is transparent at, at the edge for example it looks a bit transparent as if the as if the um, citizenship is slowly dissipating and being removed you see and not many of you consider symbolism to be all around you like I do I consider symbolism to be all around me because I get it verified around me the same symbolism in a consistent manner there is a consistency in the symbolism there is a message that is being um, communicated with the symbolism so Closing your awareness to this communication of symbolism is to um, uh, intentionally blindfold yourself if you do that and maybe most people do right because <clears throat> uh, because um, these kind of thoughts lead to can, can very often lead to insanity in the form of uh, um, paranoia and that's why you need before you do uh, before you before you start seeing symbolism everywhere you need to be mature about paranoia you need to be able to handle paranoia and I guess that's why people don't see it because they can't handle paranoia, you know. You can't handle the truth. You know that quote. I'm not saying you, but I'm saying that there's a truth in that quote. You can't handle the truth from that movie. Um, yeah, so... So, yeah. Anyhow, wonderful symbolism on my new ID card. It shows to me how my citizenship is slowly being destroyed. As if as if uh, citizenship can be destroyed. You see, I only have one citizenship. So what does that make me? If, if my citizenship is destroyed, it makes me free. What kind of free? What does it mean to be free? I don't know. But something different.
it means. It means to be to be uh, acknowledged, to uh, to be treated ethically, maybe. Ethics, you know. And and I wrote a comment to uh, Three Bacco about ethics because I read his book. It's uh, he uh, he wrote a book about. Uh, what was it called? Hyper game theory, okay, and simulation theory, and about ethics, ethics and morals around that. And my opinion is like this: as long as you don't, as long as you you're not aware of of uh, how you are treated unfairly, it's okay to treat you unfairly. As long as you're not aware of the ethical breach into your freedom, it's okay to deny your freedom. And that's what I think. And that's, um, it takes me into the Matrix movie here again, or again, I don't know, long time ago since I talked about that. But in the Matrix movie, Neo woke up to reality so it was no longer ethical to be in the simulation he got new rights he, he, he got aware of an ethical set of rules that he didn't know even existed and this is this is what can can appear from the removal of something that is not supposed to be able to be removed but I can see it in the symbolism of my ID card my ID card is slowly being destroyed you see yeah but that's not possible some some would say that's not possible well I can see it in the symbolism it's there and when I see the consistency around these topics, I know it to be true. It's, it's a good uh, scientific uh, assumption to, when you, see a, when you see a consistency, then it's true. What, 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 you're, what, what you're thinking about is true, well, as directly when there is a consistency, you see? So on that ID card, first of all, it's broken in the corner. I, I am going to show an image of it, I, I believe, onto this video. And it is also broken in the middle, as if, as if the, the, the texture is missing. And it's like, no, something went wrong in the production of, of the ID card. It's like all uh, messed up, you see? Great, I say great. And I'm proud of my ID card almost right now when it's broken down. It's, it, it's, a, it's a, I, I can't say I'm proud of it, but when I hold my ID card in front of me, it's like a, a, a prize or, or a, what do you call it? Like, uh, like, some kind of, yeah, I don't know what to call it, okay? I lost the word for that, uh, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's great. And I also can see ne next to me, on the ID card, there is an image of, the, of a bird, a small bird, and there is also another bird next to it. The spirit, the bird, is, is next to me. I like it. On the other side, there is also a bird. There is the birds on that side also. And still this broken appearance. It's, it's, it's freaking lovely. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, 
see how long this recording is. 10 minutes. Do I have more to say guys? There's always something to say. Yeah, I can say something like this, you know. Citizenship and all these ships, you know. Big letter ships, you know. And, and the, the symbolism in the IT movie. We all float. We all float down here or something, you know. Boats are floating. And... Uh, in the beginning of the IT movie, the, the, um, the child that is taken into, it, into the sewer, he loses his boat, okay? The boat, his ship is missing. And IT, the clown, takes it and it takes him. But, you see, so that there is a hidden symbolism here, which is really interesting. There are actually many videos about it. You have to find it yourself, but when you find it, it's really worth watching it. The, the, the symbolism about this citizenship and, and the ship and, and the currency, you know, this stuff, the, the fluid, you know, really intriguing things to, to, to uh, investigate. Um, so when it comes to this there is a word i you know i i love words uh, because words have power more power than any um, regular teacher like which has good gra gra grammar you know someone with a good grammar and good uh, all of this they don't know that when they're spelling they're doing spells you know it, it's a bit magic you know the language not only a bit you know god supposedly created this world with with words you know he spoke into existence and that's the same thing like i'm trying to do and like some of you are trying to do um i'm not trying to disrespect uh, anything that's way above me some infinite wisdom i'm not trying to do that i'm trying to use whatever is in this experiment of reality i'm put in this reality so i can use the language as long as i can see it and you can see it you if you can see the language why it's it's a, it's it can be used as a tool for shaping reality then when directly when you see it you you also have the right to use it you see you can use it just like I, I'm trying to do and uh, so uh, yeah and that makes me think about the word salvation again I have very many ways to see the word salvation both in Hebrew but also when it comes to uh, regular English I, I have many ways of seeing it and the more ways you can see a word the more ways you, that you perceive the hidden meaning of a word the more power you have when you use that word because you understand the words meaning and I would say understanding a words meaning is really hard to do and, and an example is that of that is salvation it's a really hard word and um, so I can talk about that quickly as an example okay about why words are important to understand <clears throat> and why why it's like hard it's hard to understand words you cannot look it up in the books like this word means this no that's not how it is words are much deeper it has you can write an entire book about the word I'm sure of the word salvation for example you can write a book about that word and and stay strictly investigative and logical about and, and discussing with yourself the meaning of the word salvation you can write a book about it okay so yeah um, 
I will I will talk a bit about that just yes, yes, so you get it okay so first of all salvation related to the word uh, salva salva is what you put on your skin and that's the ointment okay so the salvation is the salva which is the ointment okay but also salva is related to salvage salvation is related to salvage Sa salvage okay and salvage means to save a shipwreck so when you have a citizenship which is something that takes you away from from uh, being a natural man a natural woman the, situ the, the, the citizenship will somewhat own you but the salvation will give you back to yourself through the sal uh, salvage salvation salvage you see there's a truth here the, there's a deep truth here and you can know that there's a truth here because no one has wandered in these definitions of the words no one has put the words together and said this is what the word means this is maybe the first time someone is saying that salvation is related to salvage to the salvage of your shipwreck of your citizenship your owners uh, the ownership of you your enslavement okay maybe it's the first time but the word is still there it still has this definition because it is intelligent design you see it's made from our unconscious combined with with uh, with God you know God together with unconscious who knows where one meets the other who knows maybe one is the other you see maybe that's how it is who cares okay what we know is that language is full of meaning more full than anyone dares to even imagine it's so full of it and once you see it from 10, per, 10 perspectives that no one else even can imagine then you can use that word and you can use it you can think about the meanings of the word you don't even have to t have to talk about the meaning of the word you don't even have to do that you can just think about the meaning of the word when you use it okay and it will manifest you will create the world doing that but you have to you have to believe in the intelligent design combined with this collective unconscious shaping the words because there's no coincidence that words are like they are it's perfect how, how they are created the words and I'm, I'm, I'm strongly I'm, I'm very strongly sorry about my passion here but I have to say I'm I'm very strongly against those that say that English is a cursed language it's a strong word to say that it's a cursed language you have to because you're simply putting a dark label or a bad label on something which has truth in it there is truth hidden in all languages there is truth in in Greek in Latin in Hebrew in Arabic in Aramaic there is truth in this guys and you have to study it but if you don't study it I will still look into it and I will still um, describe it for you uh, as much as I can I'm not going to say everything about the word salvation because it's my secret it's my it's it's a bit of my when it's a bit of my power okay I'm keeping I'm keeping the word salvation a secret and I know some of you really don't like that but you have to imagine yourself 
I put a lot of effort into understanding words like salvation. And there's only a bit of it that I'm telling you, but it's still a lot. I'm still telling you more than anyone else. So salvation, salva, is, is the ointment you put on your skin. Salvation is the salvage of your ship wreckage of your, um, of your citizenship. And and uh, I will tell you more about salvation. The, I, I have so much, oh, I'm sorry I have to say like that, but I have so much to tell you. Um, it's just so hard to write, uh, I'm still writing, you know. Um, but it's so hard, it's so hard, you can't imagine because it's it's new it's new stuff things that no one talk about you know I have to figure I have to think about this myself because yeah no one knows the meaning of a word uh, except for the collective unconscious and God okay so and that's why when you use the words properly you will realize that um, oh uh, or, or someone will see you oh someone is using the, the language properly and the, the reality will notice that and it will you will influence reality like that that's what I do I, I influence reality with the power of words that's what I do and you can do it also if you want and I'm telling you the secret how to do it simply a state of mind be aware of the hidden secrets of the language, okay? And keep that in mind at all times, because the words want to reveal themselves to you. The words want to get to know you, and 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 they want they, the words want you to see them. The words. A word, a word itself is almost like an entity. It's alive. The word itself is alive. It wants to, the word wants to express itself. You see? The words want to be spoken in the correct manner and they will they will uh, have gratitude of you using those words and they will follow your command basically please take what I say seriously I believe that there is no one else that's saying what I'm saying here about words. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know if someone shares my opinion or that, that I can um, learn from. You know, I am always interested in learning. Uh, I am definitely. Um, that's why I know things. That's why I know things, because I, I, I like to learn. But I learn in my own way. So if you ask me, did you read this book? I probably didn't. I probably didn't. See? I didn't read that many books. It's more... Um, but how can that be? Well, it's another way of thinking, maybe. There are some people that know things, that know a lot of things, but they don't read a lot of books, okay? Reading a book takes a lot of time. It does. And it, uh, it, it, it's not... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what to... You, you know what I mean, right? And, and, and it's good that people read books. It, it's really good that people read books, you know? They have to do. But um, 
I don't, okay? I don't do that that much. Uh, but, and that, that, that's weird because I, I wrote a book and, and I'm, I'm like writing a book, but I don't read books. So, <clears throat> kind of, kind of, uh, why, right? But I have things to, to teach and that's why I do it. Um, yeah. Well, I will wrap up this video now. Um, my um, my greenhouse now has uh, tomatoes in it, and it has uh, um, what is it more like uh, some interesting stuff. It will have some uh, paprika in it, and it will have some other stuff. Um, I will put. Uh, plastic on it today I haven't done it yet because it's been quite warm here so there's been no reason and it hasn't been rainy tomatoes tomatoes um, don't like uh, rain to get rain on them on the leaves and on it so so far I didn't need to, to put up, up the, the plastic on, on it so um, yeah so I'm um, See you another time guys, let's end the video or, or recording or whatever. See you, have a good day, bye.